All right, guys, we have a functional, functioning 4S 180 amp hour LG Cam battery pack. So being 4S, there's 12 cells. Three, six, nine, 12. And uh, yeah, we've got the little 30 amp BMS connected. Connected that to an XT60, XT60 connected to um, banana plugs, which could be plugged straight into that, yes, but the cheating. This will allow us to charge up from the lab's power supply. This should shut off at 16.8. BMS says it's rated for 30, so it's probably rated for. I don't know, 15, realistically. I've got my Victron 250VA, which we will use with a watt hour meter to do a discharge test. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, just because I'm worried that the watt hour meter will turn off and lose its, uh, lose its voltage. I may have to have the power supply sitting there just at like nine volts or something like that so that when this drops out the memory on the watt hour meter doesn't drop out and that'll tell us how much power density we've got in this little beast so um, I just did a real quick basic put together job of this obviously but at 218 watt hours per cell yeah, times that by 12. 2.6 kilowatts of theoretical energy density in this thing. And we should get the same answer if we go 180 times 18.8. Yeah, 2600. So 14.8 is what they call nominal, I believe. That's 3.7 times four. 14.8 is the nominal voltage. Full charge should be 4.2 by four. No, nope, too many numbers there. 4.2 by four. 16.8 full charge. What do we go, three volts? Three fours are 12. So that give us 16.8 to 12 volt swing. Wow, that's a... I can actually program the Victron to shut off at uh, 12 volts, but I probably need to really know what this shuts off at. No temperature there anyway. Just grab the multimeter probes. Have a quick look at our cell voltages for balance. Because if they're out, I'd really rather manually balance them and get them close before this tries to. Because this is going to take weeks to get a balance on things. Because um, this is 180 amp hours, so we should be able to go from that little silver tab. No? That one to that one's 7.3. That one to that one's 11. That one to that one's 14.6. That one to that one's 3.6. So now if we go V1 to be 2, 3.6 there, B2 to be 3, 3.6 there, B3 to battery positive, we have 3.6 there. Just because it's getting light, 3.6 times 4 equals 14.4. 
And what do we have here? 14.7 with the multi with the power supply on it. You can tell that I can't eat Chinese food with chopsticks, can't you? Fourteen point six. So it's pretty close. We're in well in the right range. Let's smash that now with ten amps. See if anything gets warm here, and I'll go grab the Victron and uh, get ready to do that kind of test. Yeah, because um, I believe the Victron can handle seventeen constant as well. Um, because it's a uh, Phoenix 250. Let's just Google that real quick. The best part about all these Victron products is they are amazing in the way they spec these things. They're great. So 12 volt 250 up there is the one we're looking at. And it says input voltage range 9.2 to 17 volts. So it should be perfectly happy, except in our voltage from uh, this pack, like I thought, which is great. Zero load wattage, seven watts. Constant power, 200 watts. Peak power, 400 watts. There you go, that's pretty cool. And it's got configurable dynamic cutoff as we probably already know. If you don't know that, the Phoenix is really great for that. I've got one with the VA Direct thing, so we can hook that up to, um, hook that up to a uh, Bluetooth module, Bluetooth device, like a phone or whatever, and uh, actually watch what's going on with the thing. So uh, I'm just gonna put the multimeter probes in the battery positive and negative mains just to uh, check them. Right, I had the battery, we've got 14.7. Got some voltage drop in the uh, leads here, evidently. No heat in that at the moment. Give this a charge up and see if she starts to catch up. That's set at 16.8 as the top. So as long as they stay balanced, we can't have any issues. But uh, I'm not going to leave this charging unattended. I'll come back and uh, we'll do the discharge test there. But that's basically a very quick way to wire them up. Is uh, to leave them in their kind of cell configs like this. And you should have these under compression. And I understand that. But with a 30 amp BMS we're not going to go anywhere near their C rate of... It's 180 amps remember. In this end of the shed. Oh, did I mention I got four more of these? They're all out on the truck. But there's another one. There's three more out on the truck. So, one thing we're going to make with these is a Milwaukee battery. I use something like this. And then I have some multi core. Um, cable like pyro cable that they use in factories and I'm going to make a 180 amp Milwaukee M18 battery so uh, we'll make a 5S battery out of one of these to run things like the bandsaw and the grinder for hours at a time because I'm getting sick of charging batteries and uh, batteries fail and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah this is a little pack I made a long time ago Realistically, it should have cell fuses and it's got disgusting soldering work. It's very messy and rough. But this is probably the first 18650 battery I made properly with a BMS. And a little 25 amp BMS up there. Just so, you know, kind of give you an idea of what you can do. I used to do a lot of charging with the BMS cables manually attached. Into a charging board. I need to get some new hardware obviously if I'm going to do a lot of battery playing again but yeah we have lots of batteries so uh, 
We have 60 kilowatt hours of these in my possession now. And uh, yeah, we will buy some more. I did find that I have a 24 volt 7S DALI BMS. Um, I'll have to look up the actual balancing current of that because we can use that as a uh, 24 volt system. I do have a 2000 watt 24 volt inverter which would really love no sag so these would be great. And so at 7 in series, what are you talking, you're talking 660 watt hours per bank. It's like 5.6 kilowatts ish, rough maths. So yeah, thanks for watching legends. Keep building stuff out there. I'm really happy to be making some battery videos again. I'll uh, keep shooting them and sending them out. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you're interested in buying some modules, I will definitely consider selling them in packs of three. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Start the conversation in the comments. And uh, yeah, either DM me on Facebook or uh, you can send me an email, guys. Cheers.